Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, introduction to digital signature. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about uh, confidentiality, means message confidentiality. We should not show that message to anyone that is provided using encryption and decryption concept. Similarly, after that, we discussed about message integrity, means you should not change the message. That is what the concept of message integrity. The next concept is a digital signature. So before we move on to this digital signatures, first let's try, let's try to understand why we are going to use signatures. Signature is used for authentication. See, you take any document, you take any bank check or you, you have written a will. On that will, you are going to sign. Why you are going to sign it? Suppose if you done any painting, on the painting you are going to sign. Why you are going to do that all those things, signature should be done. Because it is giving a authentication that this painting is done by so and so per person. This bank check is issued by so and so person, that person signature should be there. Then it provides authentication, it came from the particular person. Same way, digital signatures are also used in order to provide authentication. So, how, how it is going to provide, we are going to understand in our coming classes. Let's refresh some of the basic concepts which we required to understand before we move on to the complex algorithms. So, now let's say, the next difference you need to understand here, the regular signatures, what we are going to do, we the, both document and signature is present on the same paper. Wherever the document is there, on the document we are going to sign it. But digital signatures are not like that. Suppose if you have a message, message is pr provided in a document. Based on the message, we have to generate a signature. For each message, we are going to generate a separate signature. This is what going on in digital signatures. So signature is on document, here separate documents for message and signature. So that is the point you need to understand and next one is verification. Verification, how verification is done? Suppose if you signed a document, if you signed a bank check, that document is sent to the bank, compare the document, whatever the signature you have done on the document, that is going to be compared with the existing file. Bank is going to have your signature. Previously, when you, when you took the account, you are going to sign in the, in the bank documents, bank files. So, it is, so this check signature is going to be verified on the file which you already signed in the, during the account login. Whenever you are opening the account, you signed it. It is going to compare with the file signature. Whatever the signature that present in the file, they are going to compare it. If it is matching, they are going to say it as authenticated. Otherwise, they say it as not authenticated. But in, in digital signatures, this is not going to happen. In digital signatures, you should have a separate signing algorithm, means signature algorithm during the sender side and the verification algorithm should be there during the receiver side. So what's this signing algorithm, what's this verification algorithm, how it will be, how many ways, we, how many different ways we are having this uh, digital signatures, uh, all these concepts we are going to discuss in our coming classes. Now one more point you need to understand, normal signatures are one too many. Means you take multiple documents, you are going to do the same signature. One signature signed on multiple documents. But here in digital signature, it is one to one. You take a message, for this message you are going to generate a signature. You take another message, you are going to change the signature. For the second message, you are going to generate a new signature. So that's why digital signatures are one to one. Normal signatures are one to many. The same signature applied on multiple documents. Coming to the next concepts, you need to understand keys. So how this digital signature concept works here is by using asymmetric key concept. 
sender is going to generate the private and public keys during the message integrity we discussed that receiver is going to generate the private and public keys and the public key is sent to the sender sender is going to do the message digest using the public key during the asymmetric key message is going to be encrypted using a public key but exactly opposite happening here during the message signature digital signature sender is going to generate the private and public keys and he is going to sign using the private key and the public key is given to the receiver how many re receivers are there the same public key is used for the receiver side so the receiver is going to verify with the public key you sign the messages using private key and the verifiers are going to check it using a public keys this is what happens inside in our digital signature and the one of the point you need to understand here whenever we discussed about asymmetric key this pub this public and private keys there we have discussed that this asymmetric key concept is not good for long messages because we are doing exponential operations and all those things if you are having a long message computationally it is very costly but think about it digital signatures our our documents are very very lengthy long messages will be there because suppose you if you if you take a will how many words you are going to have in the will it is very long message on that message you have to sign you have to do you have to apply the private key so that's why there is a separate concept called why not why you are going to sign it on a message don't do that sign it on a message digest because the document are con for for a given message we are going to generate a message digest on that message digest that message digest is of length 512 bits on that message digest sign it apply the signature algorithm both are same both are providing the same confidentiality because message digest is very very unique for the, for the given message we are going to generate a message digest this digest is, you are going to get for the for only this message for remaining message digest is going to change that's why sign on the digest that is what signing the digest so these are the basic things you need to understand before we move on to the rsa algorithm on digital signature and in our next class we are going to understand some of the basic concepts on digital signature after that we move on to the actual algorithms hope you understand this if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't sir subscribe to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you